Okay, today I've got um, a Panasonic uh, Plasma TV here. It's a fairly old 2008 Panasonic Plasma, but uh, as regular viewers of this blog will know, I'm quite a fan of these sets. It's a TH-42PZ8BA. This is the cost-down version of the PZ80 version. It's only got two HDMI instead of three, but basically it's identical. Um, the fault with this uh, TV today is it's completely dead. So it's plugged into the mains. There's no power light at all. Nothing happening. So what do you do when you've got a TV like this, a Panasonic Plasma that's doing this in particular? Well, the first thing you do is you check the power supply. And in this case, I've checked the power supply already, and the 5 volt standby is present, which means it's probably a mainboard problem. On these sets, there's quite a neat trick you can do to determine exactly what the problem is. Just flip the set around. I've already taken it apart, of course. And uh, what we'll be focusing on is these power connectors here and uh, this one here and the LVDS connector there. What you want to do. Uh, just reposition that. Just first remove power from the set, just isolate it. <sighs> then you want to go down, you want to unplug them. Just completely disconnect them from the set. I haven't screwed this board in because I've removed it already. The trick with these is not to rip the cables out of them. <laughs> you see, I'll unplug it on this end under here. Doesn't matter which end you unplug them on. This one here. So that's only loosely held in there for now. And then you just want to go and plug the set in. And uh Make sure that toggle button at the front is pressed in. When you do that, you hear two clicks. And uh, you probably can't see it on the camera, or you won't be able to see it on the camera. I'll take the camera off. But the uh, screen is a little full. It just goes to full white. Now, um, it's important uh, to note the fans don't spin in this configuration, because on this model the fans are driven by the A-board. So it is possible the TV could overheat if you do this. So don't run it for long. Just run long enough to uh, confirm it works. Um, one of the things you can do is you can actually power the TV down, power it on, and then you want to look quickly at this kind of initial glow that appears. You won't see it on the video, but it initially glows and it goes full white. In that mode, you want to check that there are no stuck lines on the panel. Uh, if there are stuck lines, it could be a bad plasma panel. That being said, I have never seen one of these panels go bad. They are rock solid. Anyway, that's a quick video. Just to uh, show you how to enable the test mode. This will work on all 2008 Panasonic Plasma panels, and I think it also works on the 2007 models. Basically, just disconnect the A board completely from the power board and the D board, and it will just uh, turn on automatically and just go to full white. It's a shame it doesn't go to test patterns automatically. That would be kind of nice, but... You know, I think this is deliberate. This is a deliberate design decision. Uh, you also know you won't get power LED when you do this because the power LED is driven by the uh, A board, which you've just disconnected. But you will get the little LEDs on the, uh, see the SC board LED, and then there's an SS board LED. Uh, yeah, there. Glowing there. Um, on some of the cost down versions of this, there's several versions, there's no LED on the SS board. Saving like a couple pence, but anyway. Uh, well, yeah, that's a quick way to test the panel. Uh, yeah, of course, since it's a full white pattern, you can also check the bird in. Uh, and this panel has absolutely none as expected because it's a Panasonic panel and they basically don't burn in. You'd have to be abusive to burn these plasmas in. <coughs> yeah, so. Hope this helps.